Okay, now that I've completely removed the original master, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of mold release to this. And this will help the resin come out of the mold and also it will help preserve the life of the mold. Now after spraying, spraying the mold, uh, mold release to actually activate the mold release, you <clears throat> to actually activate you know the mold release I'm gonna take a hairdryer and just kind of heat up the mold now this activates the mold release it also helps dry it so that you know you don't have bubbles formed in the mold so you want to heat up the mold so it's you know kind of warm before you want to uh, each time you and each time you add resin. So what I'm doing here is I'm heating up two molds and I'm going to pass some resin shortly. Okay, now that these molds have been heated up nicely, I'm going to place them on here to get ready for the next application. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure out some uh, <clears throat> some resin. So what I have done is I've um, kind of heated up my resin uh, because it helps helps activate the um, <coughs> helps the facilitate the reaction process. Using a clean skewer, I'm going to pour equal amounts. So I'm going to start with the first part. I'm just going to pour out a couple of grams, eight grams. Make sure I wipe this clean. Come off the bottle. And I'm going to apply the second part. Now once you apply this together, you want to apply by weight the exact amount. So I'm looking for about 16 grams. Okay. Once you have this concocted, carefully mix this. And as you mix, you will notice that this will heat up. This is an exothermic reaction. And as it heats up, it will cure. So it's going to start getting kind of like a milky white color. So this process actually goes, uh, starts reacting really, really quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is nicely mixed up. 16 grams. And then I'm going to start pouring this into my molds. And you want to make sure that you are fairly precise in the, the amount of uh, resin. Because if, if not, this will not cure. I'm going to pour this directly into my mold. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stick my stick this into my pressure pot and pressurize this. Now this works to remove as many bubbles as possible. And that will sit for 
couple of minutes and if you look over here you can see that the resin has already started to almost completely solidify. If you touch it it's very very hot and you can poke at it and you can see that the resin is starting to you know firm up. Now this needs to sit for probably a couple hours before it's completely you know fully cured but uh, it's a pretty quick process.